Yo guys, True Mobster here. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys are new here, welcome. And if you ain't new here, you already know what's about to go down. Why do you have a rocket launcher on your back? Well, why don't you have a rocket launcher on your back? Anyway, I got loads of messages like, Jay, make an Escape from Tarkov loadout video. And I was like, I have a lot of stuff. Maybe I should do this. So today we're going to be making an Escape from Tarkov video game inspired real life loadouts. Whatever you want to use them for. If you want to use them for airsoft, cosplay, walk around your house looking cool. So let's make those. So there's an Escape from Tarkov website and it shows you literally every piece of gear they have in the game so let's go through here and see what we have you know yeah we was in the heights og tried to sell me cardi is with my crown we some kings like a call in solitaire sticking to the script that's what got us here if you in the way we stepping down like a barber chair we was all downstairs molly vibes till the smoke was clear nephew came in told him boy yo go upstairs this is for the kids yeah cover is had to put in order all of my fears now when i step out i'll be well prepared. yo pop out anywhere yeah we was never scared yeah we was everywhere yeah but you was never there people love to come pairs yeah but we just all right then so the first loadout is inspired by the Escape from Tarkov Raid series. So I took a bunch of reference photos from this series, then I tried to recreate them as best as I can with all the gear I have. Alright, so let's start from the top down. First of all, we have ear my headphones, connect to a PTT which connects to your radio, and then I have the bear hat which you actually have to get from their Escape from Tarkov official website. So the hat I gave some wear and tear, rubbing it down with some sandpaper, rubbing some dirt on it just so it looks like the actual one from the series. And I recreated 90% of this loadout with gear from Military First, link to their website is in the description below. So I've got a green balaclava going down to my torso, the jacket is by Pentagon and overall these jackets are sick. I've got a bunch of these in different colours. Now the plate carrier is by Fly Industries and it's made with Kodora fabric and overall it's a very solid well built plate carrier. It's an ATAX FG camo and it has molly all over it so you can attach multiple pouches. I've got multiple magazine pouches on it. A quick release medical pouch. On the back I've attached a hydration backpack also by Fly with a radio pouch as well. And then we have the elbow pads, which they have from the series. Um, these are actually knee pads, but don't tell anyone. I didn't have the elbow pads, but no one's judging, right? The flashlight attached to my plate carrier is a Russian Ratnik 6E2. Now it's probably quite hard to get your hands on these flashlights at the moment, but they're pretty much the same as the Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2. Got a weapon sling, Got some tan gloves by 511. Now the replica is a ZKS 74M by LCT with a drum mag. Now LCT makes some of the best solid airsoft replicas on the market. I have a waist pack and a battle belt. Now you can customize your gear however you want. But on my battle belt, I've got a few utility pouches. I've got a mag dump pouch, grenade pouch, some tape. I've got a warrior assault systems retention cord. I've got my sidearm in a holster and some glow sticks. I've got some combat ripstock trousers in ATAX with some knee pads. And my feet, I've got some strike force boots by Magnum. Next up, we've got the Notorious Killer Loadout. Now the helmet and body armor is by NF Strike, and on their website they have a ton of different tactical gear, and you can use my code for a percentage off, link in the description. Now the helmet and body armor, I gave some battle worn effect, just painting them up, scratching them down, dirtying them up a little bit, just so they look a little bit more worn. And the overall appearance just looks a lot better. I got the chest rig from Military First, and it can carry a bunch of spare mags. Now the replica is an AK-12 with a drum mag by LCT. Killer uses a modern RPK, but unfortunately I don't have one of those yet. So take your hand off the keyboard. And I had to go and buy myself an Adidas tracksuit for this. I've got a black multicam free striped balaclava. No face, no case. Guys, there's no ads on this video and they probably get demonetized or make like 1p because the content I make doesn't get featured on YouTube for some reason and my views are going like this. And it's not good for some reason, I don't understand why. But if you guys wanna help support my channel to make bigger and better videos, you guys can become a channel member and get some exclusive content and I'd appreciate it. All right, boys, the next loadout. So next up, we've got the USEC, which is a United Security Private Military Contractor. So the overall loadout is gonna be slightly different from the bear loadouts. This loadout is also inspired by the Raid series. I've got some G3 Multicam Combat Pants by NF Strike. We've got the same Pentagon jacket from Military First, but in a different color. Now we've got the cap. Now going down to my belt, it's a little Gucci, but it's still working in progress. Military First and NF Strike also supply them, but my one is made in the USA by High Speed Gear. I've got a Cobra belt buckle, the Warrior Assault Systems retention cord, switching to your sidearms faster than reloading. 
apparently. Two pistol mag pouches by 511. My laser cut quick release first aid pouch by Warrior Sock Systems. A drop down mag pouch also by High Speed Gear. A knife pouch because my fruit cutting skills are remarkable. And another mag pouch by 511. Some glow sticks to lighten up my future. We've got a multi-cam plate carrier, which is also by NF Strike, and they also sell real body armor. This is level three body armor I've got in my vest. So if you guys want some real body armor, they also sell that on their website. Overall, it's a very nice, good quality plate carrier, quick release system, and plenty of room for extra magazines. We've got the same headphones, but this time we've got a multi-cam head cover. We've got the balaclava. Next up, we've got a backpack. Go into military first, select a color, and they've got a massive selection of all types of gear. Next up, we have some multi-cam gloves. Now you can also change it up and use a helmet. So I'm using a fast helmet with replica night vision goggles. In my headphones clipped onto my helmet. I've also got a counterweight on the back of my helmet and some goggles. Now the replica carbine I'm using is a Spekna Arms SA29M. Now the best place to get your airsoft replicas is gunfire.com. Link in my description with a discount code so you guys can go and save some money, but they have the best airsoft collection available on their site. Now this next loadout is a bit extreme. I made it for my latest Escape from Tarkov in real life video, which you guys can go and check out. And it's called The Looter. I'm gonna do a separate breakdown video for this loadout on my second channel because this one kind of goes a little bit more in depth. I've got tons more gear so I can do other loadout videos like this. If you guys wanna see more like this, let me know in the comments below. And what was your favorite loadout? One, two, three, or four? What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. So there we have it guys, thank you for watching. If you're new here, make sure you join the mob right now and subscribe, follow me on Instagram. So if you guys wanna see more loadout videos like this, I've got some on my second channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you back here real soon with a brand new video. As always, I get.